In the following video, a Desmi service engineer will take you through a full overhaul of a Desmi GP66 Roten gear pump with electrical motor design. For the overhaul, we use a genuine Desmi spare parts kit. We'll go through the overhaul step by step by disassembling the pump, replacing all gaskets, sealing units and bearings, and completing the overhaul by reassembling the pump. When servicing and overhauling a Desmi pump, we recommend that you always study the manual before starting. Manual and spare parts kit are available at www.desmi.com slash aftersales. Make sure you have the necessary tools and the spare parts kit at hand. All the needed parts are included in the spare parts kit. And on the rear side, an item list for all parts is shown. A list of the pumps which are covered by the spare parts kit is also included. On the rear side, a QR code is shown. When scanning the code, enter the www.desmi.com slash aftersales section, where manuals, overhaul videos, spare parts kits, etc. are publicized. Using Desmi Genuine Spare Parts Kit makes it easy and convenient and trouble-free for you to overhaul your Desmi pumps. Remove the guards. Loosen the set screws in the front cover. Be aware of the position of the front cover. Fit the set screws into the extraction holes in the front cover. Use the bolts as extraction bolts to pull out the front cover. Remove the front cover. Unpack the gasket from the spare parts kit and fit it to the front cover. Be careful not to destroy the gasket as it's fragile. Before fitting the new gasket, clean surfaces properly. Fit the front cover, making sure it has the correct position. Tighten the set screws in the front cover. Now loosen the Allen screws on the sleeve coupling and the adjusting ring at the pump end. Make sure it's the Allen screws at pump end and not at the E-motor end. Loosen and remove set screws in the adjusting ring attached into the sleeve coupling. Loosen and remove rear set screws attached to the pump housing. Remove the pump housing. Be aware of the position of the pump housing. Remove the pump unit from the sleeve coupling. Remove the sunk key and adjusting ring from the shaft. Loosen set screws from the bearing cover. and remove the bearing cover. Remove the old gasket from the rear cover. Clean the shaft of paint and dirt.
pull out the shaft. Punch out the bearing from the rear cover. Push out the stationary part of the mechanical seal from the rear cover. Replace the spring pin if corroded. Remove the rotating shaft seal from the shaft by loosening the two Allen screws. Clean the shaft thoroughly. Unpack the new sealing unit from the spare parts kit and fit the lower rotating part of the mechanical seal onto the shaft. Tighten up the Allen screws to the shaft and lubricate the shaft and fit the rotating seat. However, before lubricating, check the material of the rubber parts of the seal first. If the material is nitrile, use mineral grease. But if the material is EPDM, use soap or silicone grease as the EPDM will be damaged using mineral grease. Clean the shaft seal cover and check the seat for flatness and cracks. It's important to ensure that all parts are properly cleaned. Now install the stationary part of the mechanical seal in the rear cover using soap or soapy water on the O-ring. Ensure the correct position of the stationary seat, referring to the pin and the slide in the stationary seat. Clean the surfaces of the stationary seat and the shaft properly. Install the shaft in the rear cover. Be careful not to damage the stationary seat in the rear cover. Fit the new gasket on the rear cover. Install the pump unit to the pump housing using two bolts that are temporarily tightened. Unpack the new bearing and mount it onto the shaft. The bearing has to be mounted approximately one to one and a half millimeters below the surface of the rear cover. Mount the bearing cover and tighten up the set screws. Remove the temporary tightened bolts. Mount the adjusting ring loosely to the shaft and fit the sunk key in the shaft. Mount the pump unit into the sleeve coupling and fit it into the motor bracket using the set screws.
Now mount the adjusting ring in the correct position according to the sleeve coupling. Make sure that the two Allen screws in the adjusting ring are properly tightened. Adjust the axial clearance using an air gap gauge according to figure 43 in the manual. When the adjustment's completed, tighten the Allen screws in the sleeve coupling correctly. The Allen screws in the motor end are not to be touched unless the electrical motor has to be disassembled from the pump unit. After adjustment, be sure the shaft rotates freely by hand. Now replace the gasket on the bypass valve. To renew the gasket, remove the bypass valve from the pump housing, loosen the set screws. Be sure the valve is pointing in the direction of suction end. Remove the old gasket. Clean the surfaces properly. Fit the new gasket onto the pump housing and mount the bypass valve onto it. Tighten up the set screws. Mount the guards. And the overhaul is now complete. <laughs>